You're watching WMAR 2 News. The State Department of Health has resumed reporting on most COVID metrics. They stopped for 16 days while they say they dealt with that cyber attack. The numbers are not encouraging. In fact, they are some of the highest numbers we have ever seen. Our positivity rate is above 10 and a quarter percent, nearly double what it was the last time we had an update. It is also the highest it has ever been since June of 2020. COVID related deaths have not been updated. That update is expected to come on Tuesday. Howard County Executive Calvin Ball has some plans for American Rescue Plan funds. He announced today that he will pledge $8 million in bonuses for teachers in the county. Ball also asked the Federal Elementary and Secondary School Emergency Relief Fund to match that money. He says, quote, for our teachers and support staff these past two years have been especially grueling, and I believe we must retain those committed educators that make our school system among the best in the nation. Ball has already paid out bonuses to roughly 2,700 employees in the past, including members of the health department and other frontline workers. All right, you still need to mail off some last minute Christmas presents? Well, you better act quickly. The time to send presents and well wishes to loved ones is like today. For shipping UPS, you have until December the 21st. That's the deadline for three days select service when shipping in this country. And if you're shipping FedEx Express, you can buy yourself some more time with deadlines starting December the 21st and ending December the 24th for same day delivery. So unless you want to shell out the big bucks for overnight or rush delivery, you better get on it right now. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Tracking partly to mostly cloudy skies for the morning with clouds building as we head into the afternoon. Temperatures are going to be cold. They're going to start off cold and they're going to round off the day cold. Struggling to get into the upper 40s for the afternoon where we top out at 48 degrees here in Baltimore. Low to mid 40s near the Mason-Dixon line. 46 in Annapolis. 47 over in Easton. And the trend is for a slight warm up over the next couple of days. Near 50 on Wednesday, but with breezy winds, wind chills are going to struggle to get into the upper 30s. Lots of sunshine. Warming numbers for your Friday and Saturday. All right, Patrick, click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.